Hey guys, Zara here. So recently I've had a lot of comments about how good my skin is looking lately and if I could do an updated skincare routine. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. I'm also going to show you guys how you can use apple cider vinegar to calm down your acne, even at your skin tone, sort out any dark spots that you might have. And there's actually a few other uses for it as well. My cousins have been using apple cider vinegar for two to three years now and their skin has sorted itself out so much so I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon it's also gotten a lot of hype recently um, through a few news outlets so I thought it would be the perfect time to feature it in a video and show you guys how I use it which is how um, my cousins use it and their skin has just gone like so clear one of my younger cousins used to really struggle with acne and like her skin is looking pretty good right now now the first step in my skincare routine is obviously to cleanse my skin and for that I use the Himalaya Herbals purifying neem face wash and this prevents pimples it's two kind of herbal actives are uh, neem and turmeric which in Indian culture like if you ever have pimples I'm sure you've had like some auntie say to you to use turmeric and yogurt and mix it together and use it as a face mask and it would sort out your skin so I thought this was pretty perfect. What I love most about it is that it prevents pimples, but it's not overly drying. I used to use tea tree oil, but it's so potent and full on, and I felt like my skin was getting overly dry um, as a result. But this stuff, it doesn't have like that alcoholy smell, it doesn't sting your skin. Like it's really calm and gentle on the skin, but it still helps prevent my pimples. Now I know I'm probably going to get asked, uh, but you have a pimple on your face right now. This is because I wore makeup for what must have been like 16 hours, and it was a full on day. I was stressed, and I found that if I don't, if I wear makeup all day, I will break out, and if I don't obviously remove my makeup correctly, I will break out. So pretty much makeup on my skin too long breaks me out. Most days I'm fine, like a work day, like, you know, 11 hours of wearing makeup, I'm fine, but when it really gets to that point where I've probably been wearing it from 6am and maybe I've had an event after work and I haven't gotten home till maybe 11 or 12, when it's pushing that 17, 18 hour mark, definitely, like, I can feel the breakouts forming. And obviously because you're, like, at work stressed and then you're stressed about this event after work, like, all that stress obviously accumulates as well and it causes me to break out. So this one broke out on Friday, um, just because I had a really stressful Saturday and I was super stressed about how it was going to go. And yeah, this little baby came out. But other than that, my skin has been really good. So bear with me two seconds. I'm just going to run to the bathroom and cleanse my skin with the uh, Himalaya Herbals Neem Face Wash and I will be right back. Okay, so my skin is all cleansed now. So sorry I couldn't take you into the bathroom, but it's just a very awkward bathroom to film in. Um, so my skin is feeling a little bit tight now. The way I go about it is I use one pump of the Himalaya Herbals, uh, lather it up all over my face, wash that off, and then repeat that. So I actually double cleanse. Reason for this is I feel like the first cleanse gets rid of any of the oils and gunks off my skin, and then the second cleanse actually like cleanses my skin, if that makes any sense. I always think it's a good idea to double cleanse because unless your cleanser is a harsh one, which I don't think I really come across many. I find like the Body Shop Tea Tree Face Wash, I find it harsh because it's got that very strong tea tree smell. Um, but like this one's so soft and calm, like it's it's fine to double cleanse with it. Um, I also wanted to talk about face towels. So I change my face towel like every day if I've cleansed my skin in the morning and night. I'm not 100% consistent with my skincare routine. Some weeks I'm like really on it and I'm doing it morning, night, morning, night, and other weeks I'm like not doing it morning, night. But um, face towels. So I use dark ones just because obviously I'm often taking my makeup off um, and I don't want to like ruin a white face towel. Uh, I just use the little square ones and what happens is, so I've just used this kind of soft side for no particular reason, just because I know that tonight I will use this side and then it will go in the wash. Reason being, I do have this pimple here, um, it's kind of still healing but I'm sure there's still a little bit of bacteria in there. I have just, you know, wiped my skin, the bacteria is now on this. If I continued to use this all week, no doubt that bacteria from here would go back onto my face and I would break out even more. So that's the reason, I know it probably seems like a lot of effort to change a face towel every day. But, like, these come in packs of three, so you buy two packs and you're sorted for, like, most of the week. Um, and especially if you're the kind of person that only cleanses their skin maybe in the morning or only maybe at night, then you need even less. So, definitely consider that. 
on that same note I try and change my pillowcase often um, because again if I'm picking up my pimples the night before and then I go to sleep and like all the bacteria is then on my pillowcase and then I'm sleeping on that pillowcase for the next week it's going to go back onto my skin and I'm going to break out even more. So just keep those kinds of things in mind. Things that you put on your face a lot, like wash them often, change them often, and that will definitely help stop new pimples from coming up. So following cleansing, a few times a week I will use a face mask, and at the moment I've been using the yellow turmeric scrub. This stuff claims to fight acne, scars, rosacea, facial hair growth, and more. Um, you mix it, it's a yellow powder, and you mix a little bit of water to create like a masky consistency, apply it and leave it for about 20 minutes. It is yellow. It, I'm pretty sure it will stain because it's turmeric based. Um, so I'm going to go like put on a robe and stuff and put this stuff on my face. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you guys about it? I don't think so. I don't think there is. Uh, I can tell you the ingredients because it is a vegan product. It just has turmeric, chickpea flour, cold pressed coconut oil, cane sugar, sea salt, pure vitamin E oil, and essential lemon oil. That is it. That is all that is in this product. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. When I saw it online, like on Instagram, I was like, ah, uh, turmeric based scrub? Yes. Um, my, again, like aunts just go on and on about how good turmeric is for your face. So I'm going to roll with it. So I'm just going to go put this on and I'll be right back. So I now have the yellow turmeric face scrub on my face. You can tell it is yellower than my own skin tone. I'm going to leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then wash it off. It does say that if you feel like it's left a little bit of yellowness to your skin, so maybe if you're a bit lighter than me or something, um, to go on with a gentle cleanser just to get rid of that small stain and that'll sort you out. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now and the mask what it seems to do is, like, the water that you add to it seems to absorb into the skin. And so it almost creates, like, this second skin. Like, you know when you have, when you heat up Milo and, like, you get the skin on top? It kind of feels like that. So it's like this thin layer of turmeric just, like, sitting on top of my skin. It's a little bit tight, but I can still move my face around quite a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to wash this off now and then we'll get on to the next step. So the next step in my skincare routines would be the toner, and this is where the apple cider vinegar comes in for me. So I bought this one just from Woolies, which is a supermarket here in Australia. Um, it's the Mazzetti L'Original Organic Apple Cider Vinegar with the Mother. Um, now you want to make sure that you get get one that has like the Mother in it. I don't know what that is, but I assume that like I my colleague drinks it, and he was like, make sure you get the one with the Mother in it. I was like, okay. Um, so this one's like unfiltered, unpasteurized, gluten free and GMO free. Um, this stuff is like a dollar per 100 mil uh, at most supermarkets. Um, now you do not use it straight out of this bottle. What I have done is I have mixed half and half, so half apple cider vinegar and half water into this old MAC brush cleanser bottle. Um, glass bottles would probably be better but I couldn't find a glass bottle that would dispense the product in a way that would work for me. Um, I know one of my cousins puts it in a spray bottle, like that's plastic, and kind of just sprays it all over her face, and I think she's also put a few drops of tea tree oil in there as well. Um, but I'm happy just using it half and half in this MAC brush cleanser bottle. Um, the reason I've diluted it down to like 50% is because my skin won't be able to handle like it at 100%. One of, the, one of my cousins who's been using it for three years, her skin can handle it like straight out of the bottle now. Um, not that she uses it, I think she still dilutes it a little bit, but I need to build up my skin's tolerance to it still. So I am using this kind of 50% diluted uh, solution of the apple cider vinegar. So just taking a round cotton pad, I am just going to open up this uh, MAC bottle and just dispense this out onto the cotton pad. I wouldn't say I drench it, but obviously you want enough for like your whole face. Now, I'm not a fan of the way this stuff smells at all. I really don't like the way it smells. Um, I can already smell it. <laughs> and But it's going to work for my skin, so I'm going to work with it. Now, this stuff, ooh, is vinegar. So it does skin sting a little bit. Whew. If you find it stings too much, like you can't handle it, dilute it more. Like all of this part of my face is okay. I'm just super nervous to put it on this pimple, but I know it'll sticky, sticky, sticky. It will fix it. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, one of my cousins that has it in the spray bottle obviously sprays it on her face. But I found if I get too close to my eyes, like, I will start tearing up. So, yeah. And obviously anywhere else on your body that you have uneven skin tone or breakouts or anything like that, you know, go in with some of this um, apple cider vinegar and it will definitely sort you out. If you have been using apple cider vinegar or you're considering using it, I would definitely, definitely explore it. You don't just have to use it on your face. Um, like I said, one of my colleagues drinks it. Um, I know one of my cousins made a bit of a... No, she sent me this like little... What do you call it? Recipe, I guess. Um, to create a hair rinse, which was like apple cider vinegar, a bit of lemon, a bit of water, um, some tea tree oil, and then you spray it in your hair and it would like prevent dandruff, which is something I'm going to explore because my skin has been like... My scalp has been so dry lately. Um, but... This stuff pretty much sounds like the most amazing, versatile product you could ever get and it's like a few dollars from the local supermarket. Like, it's super cheap. I think that's everything I have to say about it. Feel free to ask me any questions about apple cider vinegar. I will definitely keep you guys up to date. I'm planning to do a skincare routine maybe once a month, maybe every six weeks because I do tend to change it up quite a bit. This will probably stay a constant in my skincare routine, so even if I'm changing my cleanser or my moisturiser, I definitely want to keep apple cider vinegar as my toner like throughout because I think it's going to do a lot of good for my skin. Like I'm really excited. Um, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can. And if I don't have an answer, I'll check with one of my cousins who's obviously been using it a lot longer and they'll probably have an answer for you. So since I was talking so much, the apple cider vinegar has now absorbed in my skin. feels a little bit tight. A little bit. It's nothing too uncomfortable. Like, if I got distracted right now and had to go do something, I would totally be fine with that. Now, next up would be a serum. So, serums are amazing for whatever your specific skincare concerns are. Now, I have used an anti-acne cleanser. I have used a face mask to fight acne. I am using apple cider vinegar to calm down my acne and even out my skin tone. So, obviously, I've covered the acne thing pretty well. Um, so the next thing that I have a concern about with my skin is dehydration. I get dryness, like I just, it doesn't look dry, it doesn't look bad, but I feel dry very often. Like right now my lips feel so dry, my skin feels so dry, obviously I've been cleansing it, but like my hands feel dry, like just, I feel dehydrated. So I'm going to go in with an oil for my serum. So here I'm going to use the Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil. The reason I like this one is it's pretty much an amazing mix of a bunch of essential oils. And it's so hydrating. Like if I didn't like moisturizers for whatever reason, I could totally just use this as a moisturizer. But I'm going to use this for my serum and then I'm going to go into the moisturizer on top. So most serums are a dropper usually because they're a thinner consistency to moisturizers. So I've just taken four drops of that and I'm just going to pat this into my skin. Serums traditionally absorb into the skin a lot quicker and just work at the skin a lot better. So when a moisturizer says that, you know, it will prevent this or will detoxify or whatever, I'm not too phased. Like, I'm more about my serums. I think if you invest in one product in your whole skincare routine, it would be your serum. Um... Reason being, like, that's what's going to fix whatever you don't like about your skin. Like, whether it's redness or uneven skin tone or whatever it might be, the serum is what's going to sort it out. So, next step is a moisturiser. I am going to be using the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturiser. This is for dull, tired, grumpy skin. So, the only other thing that I sometimes don't really like about my skin is that I can just look tired. I think it's a part of the whole dehydration feeling, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I love this stuff because it's a really light moisturizer. I really love a good skincare routine, like if I am not in a rush, I love just sitting there for like a half an hour, 45 minutes, you know, watching my favorite TV show, watching Netflix, watching some YouTube videos, and just doing my skincare routine. It just feels so nice that you're like looking after something that people look at a lot. And, I don't know, it just feels really nice. So, that's it for moisturiser. So my skin is definitely looking a little bit red right now. That will calm down. Um, it's just because I have used quite a few products today and my skin was super unhappy yesterday. So, 
what are you gonna do? Sometimes you are just red. Now that all of my skincare is on, I would usually go in with an eye cream, but I've added a little extra step in between for when I'm just chilling at home and like I said, I have a lot of time. Now I go in with the Body Shop. This is the Twin Ball Revitalizing Facial Massager. It uplifts and stimulates circulation. So pretty much you do it like this and the two balls roll in such a way where it tends to grip at the skin. And why I love this is because these two are quite cooling products, cooling products, cooling like, you know, metal things. Um, so it helps close up the pores and just, I don't know, massage the product into the skin really nicely. I probably won't use this as much in winter because like obviously it's cold, but I really like it. Like it doesn't do too much on my forehead aside from cool it down, but... I just like this feeling. It's like a little mini facial at home, I guess. So today for eye cream, I'm going to use the Mary Kay Timewise Firming Eye Cream. So obviously I'm just pushing 25, so I don't have like massive creasing and like crow's feet around my eyes and stuff like that. But I think prevention is definitely key. Um, so I have been using eye cream since maybe I was 20, maybe now. And, you know, I just feel like It'll show in like five to ten more years, all my friends will probably have all these creases and I'm going to be over here still looking 25, so... I know you're probably thinking, um, you're so young, why are you using eye cream? Yeah, that's why. It's just prevention. I think prevention is just the best. There are eye creams that say, to cl that claim, that claim, um, to, uh, like reduce dark circles. As I was saying, that reduce dark circles and stuff, and I think I've tried a couple and I saw a bit of a difference, but... I don't know, it's, I don't think it's anything that's ever going to go away, I'm always going to have dark circles, they're hereditary, so it's just something that I'm going to just have to deal with. Um, last step is lip balm. So I am in love with the Jar Body uh, lip balm at the moment. Uh, this is like the biggest jar of lip balm ever. It's humongous, it's like the size of a loose powder. Um, and it just smells really nice and candy -ous. and it's like, it's just a nice lip balm. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this updated skincare routine and learning a little bit about how apple cider vinegar can help get perfect skin and sort out other parts of your body for you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Be sure to like this video if you do want a bit of a skincare routine update from me like every maybe month or every six weeks or something like that. And be sure to subscribe so you know when I have new videos up. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!